go ahead and remove the end cap, tap the end cap out. I recommend going top and bottom, then go back to the top, tap, 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 then go back to the bottom, tap, tap, tap. And sometimes, even though I'm out of the, the head rail here with my end cap, sometimes the shade doesn't want to come out of the clutch. So I need to give it a stick and a little twist down here, and a stick and a little twist down here, and go ahead and work that clutch out of the end of the shading there. Go ahead and move my shade out of the way. Now I'm just taking a look at the clutch portion. The clutch is driven by the cord. This is what raises and lowers my silhouette shade. If I take this cord and create a little loop, stick it up under the retainer here, create a little loop. Sometimes I want to use that millwright scribe to get hold of that cord there. Pull that cord up and get hold of it. Use the cord to drive the clutch around. I can't just turn this feature. It's designed not to turn this way. So I want to grab it down here at the clutch point here and drive that cord around. And you can see I'm using the cord itself to drive the clutch around. Now I can remove that cord, go ahead and take my longer cord, insert it up through the retainer here, maybe get it through the retainer, up through the retainer, wrap it around the clutch feature here. I'm going to go ahead and take that cord and use it to drive the, the cord around the clutch again. And that just wraps it around. I've now affected a cord loop change on my silhouette shade here. I'm going to go ahead and reinsert my silhouette end cap here. And to reinsert it, I have to watch out for these two features here of the roller tube. These two features here have to fit into these two features here of the drive mechanism of the clutch. So I'm going to slide the clutch on here sliding it into the tube so those features line up and then line up the face feature of the end cap with the head rail here then just take a hammer tap it all in working in kind of circles around the surface of that hammer there get it all in place and I've just affected a cord loop change on my silhouette with easy rise shading